Hello, in this video we are going to add a legend for the vector layers in our print layout. But first we need to adjust some styling in the map canvas. The interpolated line renderer that we used for the root channels cannot be easily used in the legend in the print layout. So we duplicate the layer and we're going to create a similar effect using another renderer. So change from single symbol to graduated. Use order as the value field and change the interpolated line to simple line. We change the color of the line to blue by adjusting the RGB values. Use 15, 66 and 220. Click the arrow to go back to the previous screen and change the units of the stroke width to millimeters. Click the arrow to go back. Change the method for the graduated styling to the size and give the size range from 0.3 to 1 mm. Change the mode to natural breaks and adjust the amount of classes to the amount of strata orders that you have in your layer. In our case that's 3. Now it uses ranges of values and the first range always includes the lower and the high value. All the other ranges exclude the lower value and include the higher value. Adjust the legend with integer values. So in our case, orders 1, 2 and 3. Now go back to the print layout and add the legend by using the add legend item. And draw a box where you want it. Uncheck the box to auto update and in that way we can adjust it. And we remove all the legend items except Ruhr Channels Copy and Ruhr Catchment Copy. Move Ruhr Catchment Copy to the top by using the uh, arrow up. Double click on Ruhr Catchment Copy to edit the text. And always change the text to make it human readable. So don't use underscores in uh, legend text. In this case, we just type there Ruhr catchment boundary, so it's very clear that this uh, symbol represents the catchment boundary. And for Ruhr underscore channels copy, we change it to Strahler stream order. Under columns, we can distribute the legend over two columns. And we can move the legend to the correct position but we need to still adjust a little bit our map to make a bit more space for the legend. So we can adjust uh, the placeholder of the map item and nudge it in such a way that it nicely fits still in the map frame. There I also take care of the uh, labels that they look very well and that there are no gaps on the side. Now I move the legend closer to the correct position, but the legend has a background color and I uncheck the background color and now we can nicely see our legend below the map. So in this video you've learned how to add the legend for the vector layers to the print layout.